Turn it up. Hello folks, welcome back to Leading the Revolution, it's not cancelled. It's not, ca whatever whatever the network says, we're, we're, we're keeping going, alright? And they can try and, <laughs> ah, they will never censor us. We will not be censored. And Juan Agadello is practically dead. He went down clutching his knee. And that, we all know that the knees can be deadly, for a footballer anyway. So he's out for two to three weeks of a twisted knee, and that just sucks because he is the main man. He is where the goals have come from. Uh, eight goals in eight games so far this season. He has been phenomenal, and I'm really, really disappointed that we are going to lose him. Um, it's only for two to three weeks. He's actually been injured a little bit longer, but we're sort of running coming to the end of it. But it, we have a, a quite a big game today, um, and unfortunately, he's not going to be available for it, so that absolutely sucks. But since I last saw you, then do the ding. God damn it! Look, you know what, Leggett? Because I know you. I know you like the Derby. I'm pointing out you have a pen as well. You better be. You better be afraid. Um, but I know Leggett likes the ding. And you know what? It's been a long time since I had the ding. And it's kind of the wrong series for the ding. But we're going to bring the ding into this series anyway. You can have multiple dings. New York City. Ding. Montreal Impact. Ding. San Jose. Colorado. Columbus. Chicago. Philadelphia. And Real, and Real, Real Salt Lake. Not Real Salt Lake. It's not like Madrid. But yes, yeah, so we've had a, uh, not a great start to the season. Obviously, we had the, the defeat in the first game, which was very, very unlucky. We did follow it up with a 3-1 defeat to New York City, which is a little bit disappointing. But then again, you look at the players they have, you know, David Villa, Lampard, Perlo, um, and, and you can sort of understand it. Um, Montreal Impact, though, was a good 3-1 victory. We managed to keep Drogba out of the game, in fact. But this dude... Kennedy... Igbo and Igbo and Nike. It's actually it was Ag Igboa, and then he was sponsored by Nike, which Adidas, who who, who make all the kits, they were they were bloody livid. Uh, that was a whole court case dispute, bloody hell. And like they got Judge Judy as well. It was pff, madness. Now we lost through to San Jose Earthquake. Um, there's a man called Innocent, and I remember this dude. I don't know why. Where has he played? Uh, Livorno. Where would I have heard of Innocent Emigara? But. He's got a great name. He what he was he, he committed a crime and that was he absolutely raped our defence. So again, Judge Judy was called. Um, she didn't pick up this time, which was disappointing. Um, but a 3-1 defeat there. But we've been actually unbeaten since then, although we've only picked up one win. We had a 0-0 draw with Colorado, which I wasn't too I wasn't too happy with because Colorado not the best team as far as I'm aware. Although Dick Sporting Goods Park. We had a free free draw with, with the Columbus Crew, and again we threw away the game, which was quite disappointing. Uh, Cedric Mabwati uh, got in an 84th and an 88th minute goal, which uh, got them e an equaliser, which was really disappointing. Almost dropped my pen. That's why he sort of saw me jerk down. I wasn't touching my dick. Promise. This is for future reference. I will never be in a porno. Unless I get really good to pay. In fact, there's a Derby fan called Kieran Lee. His dick's insured for a million pounds. A million pounds. Anyway, we faced off... Anyway, we faced off against Gendo's Chicago Fire. We uh, saved it. Jermaine Jones, one of our key players. In real life, is actually at Colorado Rapids, as far as I'm aware. Um, saved the game for us. And we 
drew one, which was quite nice. And then we had a 5-2 victory over Philadelphia. And this was really, really encouraging. For Gundes, Agadello uh, and uh, Lee Wynn, as uh, someone told me in the comments, um, got the goals for us. At some crucial times, we scored a, a couple of early goals. I think we were 3-0 up in this game already. Uh, then they got two back. And then we scored two extra then at Han Agadello, uh, wrapping up the result and getting himself a hat trick, which is very, very pleasing. And we had a 0-0 draw with Salt Lake, which you're thinking we scored, what, um, nine goals in the last three games? Then we go and play a nil-nil. Next up, though, we have New York City. Frank Sinatra shall be played during the intro bit, I'm sure, because fucking New York, New York. It's, it's, a, it's a classic. I mean, admittedly, I think of Madagascar when I when I listen to it, but, you know, that's that's just Madagascar things, I guess. I want to quickly take this time to say thank you for the uh, massive support on, on this series, actually. Um, the first episode got like 400 views um, and it's I know it's been three weeks since the last part and I do apologise. I took a, an impromptu break um, which I wasn't really expecting um, and, and the feedback I got, like Gendo, Soccer with Brian, like um, and many, many others who were like just so supportive of the series really helped me in terms of trying to explain how some of the contracts work, the drafts, the waivers and things like that. So I, I really, really appreciate it. You guys get a heart. Fox in the Box style appreciate it you smart you loyal i appreciate you the league tables find themselves like this in the uh eastern conference of the mls we find ourselves in fourth uh with two wins four draws three losses a spot on goal difference of zero which is uh interesting something i've noticed actually in the mls is is teams just play whenever they want like toronto played five games but yet you know freaking we played nine it's it's a bit weird something about this save which was a little bit interesting is that well not interesting but like kind of put me off a little bit is that the mls season just started up and i really should have waited and i like i completely forgot about it to be honest when i started this i just got so like hyped into making it so um yes it's, it's a bit annoying because like, i would have preferred to use maybe something like fm steve's uh databases where we could have had um the the new lineups and whatever for the for the new season because obviously obviously players like jermaine jones at colorado etc Nigel de jong at la galaxy and things like that um, and that's, but you know, we have to live without it, I'm afraid. So sorry if you're expecting an updated database, new people, if you're new. Hey, 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 that's my boy, Hanai Gadello, player of the month for April. I couldn't think what month it was. I was like, what month did we start in? So yeah, he got player of the month for April. It's awesome. Six goals in four games, 8.02 average rating. Like bettering David Villa and Andreas Ivancic, two players who have been had a pretty good career. Well, David has had an incredible career in Europe. Andreas Avancic had a decent career in Europe. So to have him better than uh, this month is incredible. Well done, Juan. Let's just let's just move on. So then, these are the games then uh, for today. We have DC versus Columbus Crew, Philadelphia versus Toronto, Portland Timbers versus Vancouver Whitecaps, ourselves versus the New York Red Bulls, and LA versus Colorado Rapids. Uh, it's a nighttime kickoff. Um, all evening games. Although I'm not sure if this is done in American time or British time. So. I don't know if that's a setting I should have changed. So here's how the teams line up. Then they, the away side, line up with the Wright Phillips brothers. Actually, I, I kind of I knew Bradley played. For, I didn't actually realise Sean Wright Phillips had actually uh, gone there as well. And also Mike Greller is he former Leeds United man? Uh, yes, he is. Bloody crazy, crazy what you find in the MLS. Um, you can go from Andrea Perlo to Mike Greller. Hmm. But anyway, as I mentioned, they line up then with a bench of Millwood, Lardo, Sean Wright, Phillips, Mike Grella, Zizzo, McLaws, and Davis, and a 4 2 3 1 starting lineup of Robles, Duval, Ol Olmet, Schuler, Lawrence, uh, McCarty, Kirgison, Sam, Felipe, Veron, and Bradley Wright. Phillips. We too have a bench um, because you have two teams with two sets of substitutes. Um, that's how football works. And our bench consists of Brad Knight and Ruben Gabrielson, Federico Alvarez, Zachary Haravu, Scott Coldwell, uh, Nicholas Jimenez, and Teal Bunbury. Uh, and a starting lineup, 4 2 3 1 then. Um, not many changes made, but we have Bobby. Sh oh! <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> ah! I remembered Bobby Shuttleworth pissed me off, so I, re I nicknamed him Bobby Shuttleworthless. <laughs> I remember one true nerd um, said you should call him Bobby Shittleworth. And I was like, no, nah, I've got a way better name. He is in goal for us. We have a back four of Pharrell, Tyus Browning, Jose Goncalves, and Chris Tierney. A midfield two of Jermaine Jones and Kellen Rowe, um, who actually prefers to play out wide. But we're going to have to play him in the deep line playmaker role today, which probably isn't going to work. But we'll, we'll, we'll soon see if that's a mistake. Um, Jeremy Hall on the right wing. Uh, Lee Wynn in the attacking midfielder role. Diego Fagundes inside forward on the left and up front as a poacher is CJ Sapong, one of our drafted in men. And hopefully we can get a good result um, and we can have our first live com win, win, win of 
leading revolution. I designed Marvin Wynn. He was fucking rapid in like FIFA 12. What a man. So I just, what I haven't realized is I quickly got a glimpse of it. Um, CJ Sapong's on like 76% condition already. Oh, Lee Wynn's not there. No, Tinny's the only one back. It, my corner tactic is risky because I only leave one man back. I like to commit men. But um, yeah, it, I have been counted one, once or twice. Now Sapong, as you can see, his bar was so low already. But Bradley Wright Phillips finds Felipe. Um, what we have noticed here in the MLS, I tend to concede a lot of goals that are caused by mistakes. Um, not to criticise the, 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 the players too much, but I've had quite a few bloody silly goals that really shouldn't have happened. But um, And Concarves is actually the player who got, got the ball cleared away quite well there, but he's been quite error prone so far because I think he's only got like six concentration, which is um, a recipe for disaster. He's got the concentration of about a five-year-old. He's probably looking in the sky dribbling and then Pharrell manages to get it away. Not Pharrell Williams. Um, or he, he's off somewhere singing about being happy and wearing pompous hats. CJ Sapong needs to come on at half time. I, there's, there's no doubt about it. Um, but going in towards half time, it looks like it's going to stay 0 0, which is fine by me. If we can push on in the second half, maybe make a change like I might go strikerless, make uh, Mary Guido uh, very, very happy. But um, we'll, we'll see. Team talk went all right. Time to make a couple of changes then because Sapong really does need to come up. Now, do we have anyone who can play up front? We could try for Gundes. I'd be quite happy for Diego to put Gunners got for he's got decent finishing. Composure's not fantastic, but you know what? He has got that 12 finishing, so we're going to let him go up front, the Uruguayan. Uh, we're then going to allow Rowe... Can we have Paul on the left and Rowe on the right and bring on someone like Scott Coldwell for CJ Sapong? I feel like that is a, a really, really sensible set of substitutes and what we've just made there. Um, and I'm very, very, very excited to see how it works in the second half. We'll give Coldwell um, a bit of talking to. Just say, come on, lad, go and help us win. And he, he said he listened. I don't think he did. I really do miss Juan Agadello. I mean, it, it is. It, I mean, the fans have been singing it for a while now, but there is only Juan Agadello, and I'm I miss him. Oh, however, oh, Nungutli win. Oh, almost, oh no. This you remember that when I said we get counted a lot? Yeah, that this 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 might be a prime example. This might be oh case A, but never mind. For Gundes, oh Coldwell, could he make? Could he be the man? No way. Oh. Oh, he's hit the back stanchions. Oh, unlucky. But you know what? The, the signs have been very, very encouraging in this game. Um, we do look like we could snatch a win. If not, it wouldn't even be snatch a win. It would be deserve a win. I mean, we are at home. We're playing well. We just need something to fall for us, I reckon. Now, Shuttleworthless going to poop, poop the ball forward. No, he's not going to shit out the ball. He's going to punt it forward. And Coldwell, who's actually been quite good since he's come on, makes a poor pass, though. And they can play to counter. Here's Grella on the right-hand side. Finds Duval. Finds... Oh, man with weird name. Oh, and fucking Sasha. His name's fucking Sasha. And it only reminds me of fucking a woman. A woman who gets Marty at the hairdressers, it sounds like. Or the scooter from bloody Nerd Cube's bully series. Loading screen. We're on a loading screen. We've been here for nine hours on the loading screen. Oh, it worked. Oh, Mike Grella's moonwalking. Brilliant. Duval. It's a good ball forward in behind Concarvis, but he really should have done better to intercept that. And it's not even the best finish, to be honest. Maybe Shuttleworth could have done a little bit better. But late on, they take the lead, and we need to make some changes. So I'm bringing on Teal Bunbury then for Jeremy Hall. Um, we've also moved Kellen Rowe to an attacking winger and allowed Tierney to go uh, forward on the left-hand side from wing-back um, just in hope that he can support for Gundes as he cuts inside. Um, we have someone then on the outside, so if we want to play a, a, a pass to him, we can cross in. Although it might not even matter if they score from this corner. Um, and the chance is still on, although Coldwell does very, very well. I mean, he's, he's slightly impressed me in this game, and that, and and then he does that. Fucking brilliant. Although, Lee win! Idiot! Score that! You're one of the, oh, you're one of the key players, one of the men you bloody put your house on to score, and he bloody misses. Oh, it's another, another one. one. Oh, good save, actually, Shuttleworth. Let's actually kind of accumulating a bit of value for once see if we can make any like tactical tweaks higher tempo more direct higher line um yeah no we're not even gonna yeah hit early crosses would be actually a good idea i think um come on i've got my fingers crossed come on we need something please please do this for me lads and you you just you, you don't care do you you basically you just suck. did the wanker gesture to the fucking to the fucking touch line and uh, i i these these results annoy me. These results really annoy me because we played well. We could have scored. We could have won the game. It would have been a whole different story if we take uh, one of the, one of the two of our, our chances that we had, and we haven't. But ultimately, 
not good not been a good start less than ideal 10 games 10 points averaging a point a game that's not really that impressive i'll probably see you maybe for the la galaxy game that will be massive la galaxy probably the biggest team is that fair to say uh, i know we've got portland timbers after to actually won the mls last time out, so we might even do a double live com so we'll, we'll see what floats our boat um i'd say water would probably float a boat um but you know you might want to float it on other things like i don't know custard could it float on custard wasn't that a wasn't that a brainiac thing i swear it was a brainiac thing was it like john tickle can he walk on custard I don't know. If you've never seen Brainiac, you think I'm an idiot. But either way, thank you very much for watching. I've grabbed my pen. I love my pen. It's really useful. I write stuff down about video ideas because that's that, that's Jordan's top tips for new YouTubers because you needed top tips. Yes. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure you give a little, little peck on the like button. Not, not too much. Like, like, like you're kissing a relative. Don't like proper give a, don't proper go in for like a, you know, like a French kiss. I mean, that's just a, a little bit too, I mean, that's too sloppy. I mean, you'll, you'll get your screen dirty. Um, and then also, if you want to, you can also subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Much love. Bye-bye. I did, I did a foxy exit. Oh God.